as a person who likes shoes and, yeah. and sneakers, you got to go to uh, the the headquarters in Germany, right? And, and what is it called? That's all. <laughs> it's very difficult to pronounce. <laughs> is it called? Uh, I'm just going to stick with her song. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, it was an incredible, incredible experience. I'd always been looking forward to it. I was trying to plan it for a long time. When it finally happened, I was just, I was mesmerized by the place. It's like a little village, you know. It's like a town within itself. It's got, um, it's got everything you can imagine from restaurants to cafes to every kind of sports facility that wow. you can imagine. Um, I had the, the most incredible day. Are in yeah. there and everything happens there. there. And there are yeah. hundreds and thousands of very, very passionate people from all over the world, of all ages, who work over there. Uh, young, creative minds. Um, I started the day off with extensive meetings with the Germany team. Right. Um, which was, it was incredible to meet all of them in person. Uh, and then I met the creative director, Nick. You know, he showed me how. Uh, you know, the creative people, how they envision a shoe, then how it starts, how the process starts. Then he took me to the desks where they actually sit and cut and put things together, make it work, showed me all their mood boards. He opened a vault, you know, where there were all the drafts of the Yeezys. He Whoa. was like, this is where we started. And then there were like six, eight, nine hundred drafts of the Yeezys till Kani was happy. <laughs> and then the Yeezy started from there, and that's what it became. There's an the entire journey of the right. Yeezy. That was cool to see. I saw everything that's in process, you know, for the for the coming months, for the next year. Um, that was an incredible experience to see how they actually create. Um, there is a creative lab in that facility. What's in the lab? You What's know, lab it like? has cut, cutting ec equipment for okay. coloring and cutting, and every creative person over there is invited to come, sit, chill in the lab. Uh, attend seminars, exchange ideas. They're like, just take this material, cut it up, put it together, make something. Did just you, come did you to this space to jam and create. Yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, I hung out for for some time over there. They were doing a embroidery seminar, which I attended. You know, so. Oh, how did that yeah. come? <laughs> I mean, I thought it was extremely cool. Yeah. Come and learn embroidery. Use it on your T-shirt that you're creating, on your shoe that you're creating. So that space was incredible. After that, they took me underground where it's a controlled environment, it's the vault, where I think it's a controlled temperature, Okay. and you have to wear gloves, it's almost like you have to cover up and like, like almost like wear a space suit <laughs> because everything there is so precious, and they take you through time. Everything wow. that Adidas has ever created is held in that vault with special casing and covering, so like a, a, a Team Germany national football jersey from 1960, wow. whatever, is, it's there. The best part was they had Sachin Tendulkar shoes. I put a picture up on Instagram. Yeah. Um, what he scored his 100th 100 in, they had those shoes uh, used, by the way, in like a proper casing and everything. It was absolutely incredible to see. And then they take you to this facility which shows you what the future holds for Adidas, what the stores are going to look like, what the merchandise is going to look like. And it's super secretive, you know. They have like these like, uh, you know. Erase your memory. When yeah, you yeah, they have these <laughs> men in black standing all over and, you know, it's like all kufia and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, so it was, it was a really incredible experience. Uh, I, I, will, I will hopefully go back there, you know, to collaborate further, innovate, create. Um, I'd love to see you create uh, and make your own shoe. That would be amazing. It would be awesome. Uh, I also want to talk, Deepika, a little bit about what this store and uh, stores like these in, uh, you said, as you said, Delhi and uh, other places would do for sneaker lovers in the country, right? Because right now, sneaker lovers all over the country, uh, it's the opportunity has just come in, say, in the last decade. Before that, do you hear of stuff or if you have a relative who comes in? So what's it going to do for people who really are into sneakers? The, get them the what hardcore they want. fans, the yeah. connoisseurs. You really get them what they want. Uh, this Saturday, we launched a pair of Yeezy, and it was surprising to see there were customers waiting outside and inside the store for 27 hours. Wow. It's just growing. There were girls who refused to even leave overnight. They're like, we are comfortable. We are happy to wait for the sneaker. I to the vault? Yeah, uh, it's amazing. I think the the commitment of these people is, you know, it's extraordinary. Beautiful. That you know your proper sneakerhead when you're camping out Absolutely. for the drop. Absolutely, and it's amazing how. The Why don't you tell Rushil's story? I would love for you to tell Rushil's story. All right. Please say it. 
No, no, don't fear. <laughs> All right. So Rushal works uh, with us uh, in the brand team. He's the brand manager for Adidas Originals. Um, very interesting. So after a wait poor guys, uh, they were actually accompanying customers so that they're all safe overnight too and there's no problem, late night. And then eventually by 6 p.m. the next day, we started to build the shoe. And there was, I think, a queue of 50, 60, 70 people already. Now this shoe you're supposed to buy, uh, it's, there's a silent raffle, like a lottery. And if you get the lottery, you, if you still make it to the counter. So you're in a queue, but if you make it to the counter, you can purchase the, purchase the shoe. There's no shoe for free. Uh, you can purchase the shoe, except. <laughs> so uh, that comes from Kanye's team, so that's fine. <laughs> so, so there was a lady who was actually waiting to buy a pair of shoe uh, for her son. And uh, unfortunately, by the time she reached the cash counter, the shoe was sold out. and we. She said, sorry, ma'am, it's over. We, we can't help you. Um, she, she lost a fit. Uh, she went, she got the cops in, uh, and Rushal had to actually go to the police station. And of course, then when the ASP realized, uh, oh, is the fight about getting a shoe? Like, I have issues like managing criminals, you know? <laughs> yeah. How are we talking Nick about <laughs> This is shoe love, yeah. huh? Absolutely. But, you know, the, the fact is, uh, it creates that rage, and why not? I mean, that's what the brand is for, right? It has, it's, it's a brand that stands for passion. Khane ki hawa kaisi thi, janab? Sab thik hai ab? In one piece. That's all good, laat ki waati kuch. But, but also, like, I keep coming, um, coming across people. There pe uh, I saw this girl, she made beautiful designs on regular kids and was expressing her own art through it, right? Uh, what's your take, very quickly, on the street style culture uh, just in India over the last few years, especially for you both because you've been here, and how, how much do you think has changed and evolved and is moving forward? I think uh, it's growing and developing and has been popularized to a great extent with, uh, um, it's coincided with social media platforms. Right. You know, people can exchange ideas, they have access to designs and what people are doing across the world, and uh, it's, right. it's being transported, imported uh, yeah. from the internet, yeah. from social media sharing. Um, so I think that's a big contributing factor. Like the whole world is one creative country in, in yeah. that sense. And you're absolutely right. And um, I think in the past year and two years, uh, street culture, sneaker culture, they've really come to the fore because now they're there, you know. And Instagram has this algorithm right. of sending you, of directing you to stuff that you uh, are, interested. are interested in. Yeah. Um, so those like-minded people are then banded together in that way. It's almost like uh, connecting uh, you know, people who are immersed in that culture. Uh, like, I know so much about what's happening with regards to the culture through what I see on the internet every day. Correct. Um, so I think it's an awesome thing. And uh, I'm very proud that we're going to, I'm a part of what will hopefully become the definitive street culture film coming out of India, Gully Correct. Boy, that I'm starting Correct. in January. And I'm very, very excited about it. Yeah. Sure. What about you, Deepika? What has it like been, been like for you? Just... Uh, as it's, someone growing up in the country, it's been actually over a the last long journey. I mean, uh, for Sorry. years we we didn't we didn't find people who really understand and valued sneakers. For them, they were like, it's just a pair of shoes. Uh, but in four five years, in the last four five years, it's people people love, breathe, kiss their sneakers. They swear by them, right? Uh, and I would just say it's it's only a beginning. And I'm glad Originals is leading sneaker culture in India. Straight. Sean, what have your observations been? You work so much, so much yeah. with people and the, from the market side of it. What's, what are your observations no, on that? It's, it's definitely coming. You know, there, there are definitely some experts and sneaker heads right. uh, in India who are equivalent to sneaker heads across the world. Correct. But it's just really the volume and, and it translating into a little bit more mainstream, mm. which is, is still bubbling under and coming. But Correct. what's fantastic, and like Deepika said, is just to see people now having this appreciation for mm. sneakers and, and starting to understand sneakers, appreciating right. them, and knowing the sneakers' history, as opposed to just going and buying a sneaker right. off the shelf because someone else is wearing it and it's cool. Right. So we delighted to see the appreciation yeah. Yeah. because that's really... Yeah. It's moved on from just being a shoe. It's, like yeah. an, uh, it's a form yeah. of a representation of your art, or your belief system, or how you yeah. perceive yourself, right? Yeah. And you've got Ranveer. Absolutely. Who I really think uh, sort of opens up the doors there. Ranveer, tell me what, according to you, is trending? What are the best 
sneaker looks. You you get away with looks that I feel <laughs> otherwise. Yeah, that's one thing. Like just because it, he's looking good in it, I would like to caution. My word of caution: not necessarily that everyone would pass off w with with a certain look. For you, what do you think are the best sneakers, or what's trending? Are you no, giving me a compliment, or what are you doing? I'm totally giving you a compliment. Just make it clear. I'll, I'll tell you what my compliment <laughs> is. I was hosting an award show. Uh, you won an award there, and you wore this really cool sort of one-piece black cloaky looking thing. And I'm like, this is amazing. I was, uh, I was uh, on my podium, and I'm like, I got to get this made. And then I wore it, right? Like my friends, yar, maine banwa liya, maine pena, and I looked like I stole like an old lady's bed cover, and I was like half Osho ashram guy, half stolen bed cover guy. And I realized, just because it looks good on someone else doesn't mean it's gonna look good on you. These are my learnings. To original banna. Ha na, maine apna, ab maine apna apna chadar pen kya ho? Kisi aur ka nahi pen hua. But so what according to you uh, are the styles that are really uh, sort of growing? देखो कुछ दिन पहले मैं लंदन से वापस आया तो मैंने वो वाला पहना था वो वाला हाँ फिर ये इन्हीं की की धूम मच रही है आजकल इन्हीं की is become very popular the Pharrell silhouette you can see over here is very popular the gentleman looking very concerned हाँ this one हाँ ये ये इन्हीं की हाँ very popular very hot right now right uh, these, I'm very happy and proud to say that I wore before the drop. Deepika was very kind to send them to me before they even released. Ow! Right. I love showing off like that. Um, this I wore a few days ago. Correct. Uh, and But today is about the Crazy 8 Advantage pack, which I'm wearing right now. Nice. Which you can also see over here. It is a revamped basketball shoe, which I think is extremely cool. Um, prime knit, you know, jazzed up midsole. I think it's uh, it's a statement piece. It's kick ass, and uh, it's really giving me that that uh, new shoe feeling. Nothing like that new shoe feeling. Yeah. You know, you pair a, put a new pair of shoes that day, you're just golden. Yeah, yeah. You know, impenetrable shiny aura. Yeah, yeah. So, as so. usual, he's wearing it before the launch. Ow! Before the launch. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this is today is all about the crazy eights. Thanks so much, and guys, thanks for this store. It's going to be super fun. A lot of really amazing creative things also going to be happening here, uh, which have been lined up. But uh, thank you all so much for also being here, and now's a great opportunity for a photo op. Happy.